full time Slavia Prague nil, Arsenal four. That's right, four. It's five one to Arsenal on aggregate. And all them nerves I had, all the nerves that most Arsenal fans had, were put to bed inside 25 minutes. A superb all round performance, the best performance under Mikel Arteta's 18 month, 19 month reign so far. And that is the sort of process I've been backing and I've been waiting for them to materialise in a huge game tonight. We put Slavia Prague, who I've been saying, I said it last week, they're not that great. And they pre proved that they're not that great tonight. An absolutely outstanding performance. Let's talk about it, shall we? Right from the get-go. Saka, fantastic shot. Hits the post. Smith Rowe hits in the rebound. VAR checks it. It's offside. I'm thinking, oh, for God's sake, it's one of them games. But no, two minutes later, it's... um, Who was it that stepped up and uh, scored the first for Arsenal? It's, it was a wild one. I'm, I'm getting a bit confused, but I'm pretty sure it was Bukayo Saka who scored the first goal. Pepe with the and then um it was Lacazette that went down for the pen and Lacazette stepped up took the penalty 2-0 then Pepe made it three Pepe set up Laka to make it four I just want to talk about it because it's not necessarily about the goals it's about the mentality it's about the attitude it was all right today it was all fantastic from an Arsenal perspective and I am so happy with the performance that the lads put in tonight. They put any sort of doubts that we had in our heads about this game to bed. Tonight, if we lost, there's no, there's no two ways about it. There would have been fan backlash. Everyone would have been against Arteta. Everyone would have been against Arsenal. Our season was done. The league's done. The bottom line is now, we are free. That's right. Three games away from Champions League football. If we win the three European matches, Champions League football is ours for the first time in four years. And I don't know what the Ajax Roma final score was as I'm recording this video. Roma were drawing 1 1, which put them through on aggregate. So um, United won 2 0 to their, their semi finalists. I'm pretty sure Villarreal as well were semi finalists. So we have got an Unai Emery versus Mikel Arteta semi final. So Arsenal set up an Emery semi, and I cannot wait. For that semi-final. It's a huge game. And if you haven't got any emphasis to win that game. I honestly. I don't know where you're going to be. But I just want to shout out today. You can't really see the shirt behind me. But Nicola Pepe. Outstanding today. Bakayo Saka. Outstanding today. Smith Rowe was only on the pitch 66 minutes. But he was outstanding today. Balogun got a little run out. Martinelli came on as well. We made one change from Sheffield United. It was Martinelli for Smith Rowe. It ended up being a perfect Decision by Mikel Arteta. A fantastic performance by Emil Smith Rowe. Needed all the creativity going forward. Saka, who slashed it, hit the crossbar, ended up hitting the hitting a fantastic shot, bottom right corner to end up scoring later on in the game. Keeper completely rooted. Slavia Park didn't know what hit them in this game. We were absolutely outstanding. I don't really want to say too much because honestly. It, we were absolutely fantastic today. Full credit to the boys. It was fantastic man management. It's our first clean sheet in about 14 matches as well. It could have been easily finished 3-1 or 3-2 if we didn't keep our discipline. We were. We, it was a fantastic, it was a mature performance. We went out needing to score and we scored three and a half an hour. Cannot say any more than that. Fantastic. Exactly what we've been waiting for for a long time. And then we got the fourth with Pepe, passing it into Lacazette. That's four goals in two games for Lacazette. But I want to end this video quickly to say get well soon to our captain. They were playing out there without their main man, without their captain tonight. It's the best performance we've had without a in the Arsenal shot. But we're not going to talk about that specifically, as important as that is. It, he announced, I don't even knew this at half time, but he announced before the game that he has malaria. We don't know when he's going to come back, Aubameyang, but we wish you the best. And I hope you are back, well, feeling better, let alone on a football pitch. Don't even worry about that yet. Just let the boys handle it and hopefully you can get back into the fold when you are ready. Who knows when our older girl might be all back soon, but in their absence, the boys put in a fantastic display. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to an Unai Emery semi-final. And who knows, we've got four points out of United already, so I'm pretty confident about that. If we get past Emery, I'm, pr I'm very confident we can win this competition. We're in the semi-finals, we're in it to win it. Our season is still alive. Come on, boys. Like for your thing, you're subscribe for new. I've been a true gunner. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys for my reaction of the Fulham game. Take care.